Hello. So I mentioned last time on the streaming workflow guide, uh, specifically with Ableton and just audio workstations in general, if you're trying to stream audio from your digital audio workstation to your broadcasting software, then this is what we're going to go over. I talked last time the workflow with voice meter. Now I'm going to go over a guide with two audio interfaces. So simple setup. You're going to have your broadcasting software just like I have it now. It's it's what I'm using to record this video. Um, but obviously you can stream however you'd like. And you have your audio input from your second audio interface. You have your first audio interface interfacing with your inputs going into Ableton. And then obviously Ableton is sending the output to the monitor outputs or the headphone out, however you'd like to go about that. And then you're sending the output from the interface, which is the output from Ableton into your second interface that is plugged into your computer simultaneously. And that, as I mentioned earlier, is going into your broadcasting software as your audio interface. So it's a pretty simple setup. Uh, now, there's only probably one real issue with this, and that is you have double A to D conversion. And just in general, you're working with two audio interfaces. So you have to do a lot of troubleshooting. And by troubleshooting, I, I just mean double checking things. Uh, troubleshooting probably won't be as intensive as it is with voice meter, but it is certainly something that you have to make sure everything is pristine as can be, because that's what we're in here doing as audio engineers. That's what we should be concerned with most. So just to illustrate you to you here, I can, in fact, put on effects to whatever, you know, I'm inputting. And in this case, I'm inputting my voice. And that's being monitored completely by the viewing audience of the stream. Now, as I was saying earlier, really, the only downside is the double A to D conversion. Um, which is just a slight degradation in audio quality. Um, having two things convert analog to digital, and then again, analog to digital, you're just going to get a slight touch of, of loss in quality there. but And maybe delay, but in OBS, there is a way to slightly adjust um, video delay purposefully. You can actually do that. It is uh, accessible. And other broadcasting softwares, I'm, I'm sure, also work within that capability. Back to the ADD conversion. I don't think it's a real big issue at the end of the day because most of the things that you're going to be streaming to, especially nowadays during uh, this pandemic we're going through right now, you know, like most things are forced to standard definition audio period um i mean most streaming is just standard like that's where most things get compressed and uh quality is lost because people care uh, i'd say more about the video obviously evidently by the encoding uh priorities where video is just simply um higher quality over video or over audio so I don't think it's really something to worry about, especially if you're streaming over something like Zoom. But even in the case of YouTube, there's a lot of audio compression and um, uh, other streaming services like Twitch and so on. It's, it's really what you should be worried about is just making it sound as good as possible and as well as just capturing it uh, and... I think that at the end of the day will help people connect more because there's already so much in the way of disconnecting people from live performance over online. So 
having two audio interfaces and they really don't have to be the top of the line audio interface so thank you for watching i hope you found this helpful and i hope all of your streams go well and there are no audio issues because that's a good stream there are no audio issues have a good one